afternoon, boys and girls. Welcome to a botany circle. Today we were working with the types of flower inflorescence. First, what is inflorescence? It's just a fancy word for the way the flowers are arranged onto the peduncle. Now, there's two words we really have to learn. Peduncle and pedicel. You might remember some of those words when we did our parts of the flower lesson. So let's review. A peduncle is the part of the stem where the flower is attached. So on this flower, the peduncle is right here, where the bud of the flower is attached. Other flowers have different types of peduncles, but they all have them, like this flower. It has a very large peduncle going all the way up to the top, the green part right there, and the buds are attached to it. The other word we need to learn is called the pedicel. A pedicel is like a smaller peduncle going off the side of it. If you look on this one, it has a little pedicel right there, multiple small ones. So first, say it with me, peduncle. Peduncle is the major part where the buds attach to the flower. Next part, pedicel. Pedicel is the smaller peduncle that attaches to it, where smaller buds are attached. All right, so peduncle and pedicel, important words to learn. Now, we can go down to our types of inflorescences which we're going to talk about the different types of arrangements of the buds on the peduncles and pedicels. The first one we have the spike inflorescence. It's arranged in a vertical spike going up. Notice it has only one peduncle going to the top and the buds are attached to that peduncle, sometimes alternating, sometimes parallel. But it's only one peduncle, one major peduncle going to the top and it's arranged vertical like a spike. The next is called the catkin inflorescence. And this is just like the spike inflorescence, except this one is hanging down instead of going up. So again, a peduncle going down, one peduncle, and many buds attached to that peduncle. So spike and catkin are like pairs, only one peduncle. Next we have the head inflorescence. Again, one peduncle where the bud is attached to the top. Oh, this one, the pedicel is arranged almost like a plate or a bowl. This is like a sunflower. You know, it's a sunflower. We only ever see it facing us. That's the famous picture of the sunflower. But actually, it's arranged almost like a plate. So I have a flower here. If you look at it, they're arranged almost like a plate right here, right? Of course, we only ever see it when it's facing us. That's why we see the full circle. But it's arranged almost like a plate where it's one peduncle and the pedicel is actually spread out in a, in a bowl or plate shape. So that's head inflorescence. Next we have the coimb inflorescence. This is where it starts getting a little bit different. Notice there is one major peduncle still here, but this is where you start getting pedicels attached. The pedicels are the smaller arms of the, the flower that attach to the side. This one has one major peduncle, and many pedicels attached parallel to each other, attached at the same point. Remember that term from your geometry. So the coim inflorescence has one major peduncle and many pedicels attached to the side, and each pedicel has its own blossom or uh, bud at the end of it. Going down here now, we have the raceme inflorescence. This is arranged very similar to the coim, but notice one difference. It has one major peduncle, just like all the others, but this one now has the pedicels attached alternating. They're not parallel, they're not attaching at the same points anymore. Now you get one to this side, one to that side, one to this side, in alternating pattern. So you can see the difference between those two. That was raceme. Next, we have the cyme inflorescence. Again, one major peduncle, and you have the pedicels attached off to the side, almost falling over like a wave. And again, one bud or one bloom at the end of each pedicel. Syme, almost like a wave. Next, we have the pinnacle inflorescence. This one's arranged almost like the branches of a tree. One major peduncle right here, and then many pedicels. And even off those pedicels, you have smaller pedicels that are attached. Looks like a branch of a tree or the, the veins of the human body, or like roots spreading out. 
So the pinnacle inflorescence, one major peduncle, many pedicels, and each pedicel has its own bloom. And the last inflorescence is called the umbel, the umbel inflorescence. This one is arranged almost like a fan shape or like the fingers on your hand. One major peduncle and many, uh, many pedicels going off the side, arranged in a half circle or fan shape. And of course, one bloom at the end of each. So all of these are just some of the arrangements or inflorescences of flowers. I'm sure you can go outside and find many different types of inflorescences just in your neighborhood. But I hope you enjoyed coming to Botany Circle. I show you some pictures here to show you, yes, you can draw them yourself. It is possible. So your work today will be to draw or find pictures of different types of inflorescences and write the names of those types. Okay? I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.